I forgot to click the start recording button. Whoops, there goes that three seconds. Oh well, off to the room that I've ri that I literally haven't used ever since ever since I made it. Yeah, look at this fancy little place. Oh, howdy, kit. I type something else. I want to see how well it. Does it? Does the chat even come up? Hold oh, up, let me double check it. Oh wow, that's way low. Yeah, I thought it was scuffed. Ah, shit, whoops. Hold on. Where? There you are. Why are the alerts there for you? The alerts can go right in front of me here. Why are there two alerts? The two alert boxes. Ah, then I'm just keeping it like that. I don't know when I'm ever going to use this actual scene again. Because how often do I do just t just chatting streams? Basically, never. New model time, and if you're wondering why I'm not in the new model, then you don't know how th how these things usually work. We've got to store for a little bit. But yeah, since I've been using this model for two for more than two years at this point, I just thought it would be a decent idea just to go back through my old models that I have. I'm gonna talk about those a wee bit before actually showing off the new fanciness. Okay, let's see how scuffed this will be when I change the change the models. Yeah, all my old models. Well, not almost all of them. I have four of these. Right, let's see what each one is, huh? Is this the is this the very first? Nope. That model's busted. That's a good start. Number two. Yeah, look, the very first. Literally just a floating head, and that's about it. Yeah, the mouth barely moves. Look at some. Now nah, the movement ain't all that. Movement ain't all there. Yeah, this is like what, some a short time after I started drawing. So who knows how long, how much experience I actually had at this point. You can see some parts actually are retained to, to today. And the person who did the rigging on this one, straight up was the only person who actually came forward to help me with the rigging. Cause I had no clue back then. Yeah, way way back. More than two years, probably like two and a half years at this point, maybe even around, yeah, around the two and a half year mark. So, yeah, ain't that neat. So, yeah, damn your first model, just learning how to cut everything and what to draw. What's this? This one with the slightly extended top? Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, I drew a tad bit more. I haven't changed the design of the shirt a little bit, made it much dirtier. But yeah, as you can see, the mouth actually moves when I speak now. I got some some eyebrow movement. The eyes don't exactly get much bigger. Movement slightly different. And yeah, just want to just an addition to the other one, just to fine hone how it actually is to make a model. What's this one? Is this more fun tuning when it comes to rigging? Yeah, in terms of what I did, I did very little between this one and the other version. This is just mainly leaps and jumps in the actual rigging from the rigger himself. Yeah, this is the one who did the rigging for these models. Good old Helon. Yeah, that's about it for this model. No toggles or anything like that as well. This is all just base models. And then I... Then I basically... I feel like I had a new enough to actually go ahead and make a complete model. So yeah, in come this bad boy. Come on, load. There we go. Oh, there we go. Get the, get the whole thing in. There we go. Yeah, the rigging is still, by, still done by Helon. And this was the whole thing, basically. Whole last model, kicks and all. Funny enough, there was no additions to this model, no additional outfits. No change in hairstyle. The only thing I did went go back to him to change a few months later on is to do is to have this toggle implemented. Boom! Snake gone. It just me now. As you can tell the rigging is much better than the other models. But yeah, this is more than two years old at this point. Here we go, we will up and close here. The main thing that I wanted to do for the upgrade for a different model 
This is the whole expressions and everything. Here we can get rid of the gamer tree. Get out of here. Yeah, as you can see, this one has no toggles for the expression at all. The most I can do is just squint a wee bit. Even that's hard to do. Yeah, little in the way of mouth movement as well. Duty mode off. There we go. Oh, you dumb stack of shit 3D model. God damn, I hate you. Thought it was going to be such a cool idea. But yeah, 3D model. Ah, shoot, what is that? I need to hold down alt. Look at this absolute scuffed piece of garbage. Why do I need to hold down alt to move this around? But yeah, one good thing about 3D is the fact that now I have to worry about how the face will, how the face will look. Yeah, we're real close now. I do remember there was a bunch of different emotions that I could do for this one. I forgot how to do it, so I'm not going to bother. Yeah, probably the probably the funniest thing about this model is look how the head moves. Especially on the top of my head, it moves like jello or jelly. Ain't that hilarious. I'm sure to do a quick little 360 because it is a 3D model. Wait, which one is it for? There's a 360. Look at that tail that I had so much time. That I had so much trouble trying to put the damn texture on. You wouldn't believe how much of a pain in the ass this was. Another, another funky thing about this model. If you look right here. You can see the gap between the actual jacket layer and the actual body itself. And the hair clips a lot too. Another reason I hate these damn 3D models. Yeah, there's the default one. And I was actually bothered enough to go ahead and make an alternate outfit with this shit. But yeah, this little outfit was fun to throw together. Especially with all the textures on the jacket and legs and everything. Yeah, the main part about this, this, uh, this change of model is the fact that I got a new hairstyle as well. I do intend to do for the do 2D model new outfit eventually with a new hairstyle as well. Yeah, for this one, even the tail is scuffed. Cause I knew it was going to be off screen and no one could no one could see it properly. Look how scuffed that shit is. Beyond cursed. Uh, this one, that one, that one, right? Here we go. Back screen as well. Take off studio. And boom, I'm back. Ooh, look at me. Yes, the head is very empty. Basically the default state of things, huh? Yeah, I didn't... Because the, the other 3D one, I, had, I put it through Unity to separate the tail from the hair. And, th and that one, I, th I just thought, yeah, I'm not bothered. I'll just throw it in. And there you go. But yeah, new model time. This took me just a few months to put together. Oh yeah. Since I showed the person that did the rigging for the other model. Might as well show the person that did the rigging for this one. And she helped me out so damn much it's not even funny. Because man, did I need to know a lot to actually get this done. Okay, yep, capture that one now. There's nothing sus on the screen. Yeah, okay, should be fine. There you go. Here's the person that did the rigging for this model. Daf Shu. Yep, she's a damn fine rigger. Really, she's real good at it. Yeah, and all, actually endured all my dumbass questions as well. Which is also fine and dandy. Mm-hmm. I'm glad you agree. The blink sensitivity? Yeah, I'll probably tweak this model sometime later. Wait. Since I opened, we opened you, we calibrate. Go on. There we go, that's a little better now. 
Gotta make that thing a little too big. Scooch over, scooch down. Okay, now you get back behind the table. I can still show you the fancy little part of the mode that I really want to get down. Even in here. Boom. Is that, uh, is that clipping through the top? Yeah, it's clipping through the top a little. But yeah, now it's no longer a drift sitting behind the model, it's actually part of the model. Five seven. What do you mean by five seven? I know, real pretty, ain't it? Yeah. Here's the major part of this one that I really wanted to get down properly is all the emotions. Yeah, this is without any. Oh, the tail's clipping to the left. Whoops. Oh well. It's almost like half of the trap box is cutting it out. Let's shift to it. There you go. There's a wee bit better. Yes, I'm uneducated. What's what's it to you? Anyway, just the default of the model, no no changing anything. Yeah. Bad stuff sad already done. And even though there's a toggle for smuggler, like doing this type of smuggle will be better. Uh, I just went ahead and trimmed some of it down. Which is why you can't see the toggles on the right of the screen or you can't see the little button on the left. Yeah. And on top of this mug as well, I can just do a real, a real cute looking happy, happy one. Wait. There we go, close enough. Now as for the toggles, we do have the tail here. Let's go on and off. And probably the smoothest part of this entire, this entire model is the hoodie, is the hoodie toggle. Look how smooth this look how smooth this is gonna look. Oh perfect ain't it? I'll just leave it on for the rest. So yeah. Model so far. I'm gonna have I'm gonna try and think of a new outfit for this one. I do have something in mind but I do have to ask the original ask for if it's okay for me to go ahead and make and uh, make a model based off it. Or have them do it themselves. I know I'll ask them.